seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy 2000! The year 2000 was quite interesting. Y2K didn't kill everyone. The Nokia was the number one selling phone in the world. Britney Spears was on top of the charts. And it was also the year I was born. Oh yeah, and the NHL decided to expand to Columbus, Ohio. This franchise hasn't seen much success over their 19 year history, but recently, in a strange turn of events that no one, absolutely no one predicted, the wildcard team swept the 62 win, President's Trophy winning, Tampa Bay Lightning in the 2019 Stanley Cup playoffs for their first ever series win to advance to the second round, but there they would get eliminated by the Boston Bruins. All they had to give up for that small success was to give up most of their farm system and plenty of picks. Even worse news. 95% of the players they acquired left via free agency. It's time to step out of the way, Yarmo Kekalainen. GM Thumbs is here to save the franchise. And I make a promise today that I will bring a Stanley Cup to Columbus, Ohio. We will have a huge parade in Columbus. We'll go all downtown. I mean, does Columbus even have a downtown? I'm sure they have a downtown. I've never been to Columbus. Would love to go someday. I don't really travel that often, as you can probably tell. Uh, let's just jump right into this thing. Uh, I put out a poll on my Twitter. If you're not following, go ahead and follow. I tweet all the time on my two main accounts. Uh, my three thumbs up account and my... Uh, Habs related account. I know a lot of you guys really don't like the Habs, but I love the Habs. And you know what? I'm sick and tired of Columbus. They got to eliminate Tampa Bay. Montreal didn't get a didn't get to uh, eliminate Tampa Bay. And do you know why that is? Because Columbus managed to pass Montreal. But this isn't about Montreal. This is about Columbus and their failures. Let's get real. Let's let's get real. Let me talk some sense, okay? Columbus, congrats on making the second round. You beat Tampa Bay. No one saw that. Not one person predicted that. Okay, I'm sure a few people predicted that. But everybody thought they were psychopaths. No one, no one could have guessed that would happen. But you did it. You got to the second round. Okay, good for your fans. Congrats. But you lost everything. Absolutely everything. Except Gustav Nyquist. Oh. Gustav Nyquist right there. Thank you for staying along, Gustav. How do you not like Gustav? That's such a great name. Gustav, the railgun. <laughs> uh, I, I don't feel bad at all because you screwed Montreal. Uh, but I do feel bad in a sense that you sold the farm and a lot of draft picks to just make the second round. I know that this is the first time you've ever accomplished that feat. But that's it. You aren't looking near as good as you were last year. You lost Panarin. You lost Bobrovsky. Uh... Who else did you lose? You lost, uh, what's his name? The guy from Ottawa. Mm, hold on. Uh, Car Carolina, Carolina, what was it? Carolina, what, who did you get? Who did you get? Kick. The Zingle. Oh, how did I forget such a hockey name like that? What the heck? Don't appreciate it. <laughs> uh, but they lost a lot, and they traded their first round draft pick, and they... They don't have a lot of picks this year. They have their first. Uh, but after that, the farm system is not looking incredible. Uh, I'm going to go through 
the roster right now. This is episode zero, I would say. And then in the next few episodes, it's going to heat up a lot. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to purposely tank this team into the ground. Uh, just because they, they have a lot of weapons here that can totally light it up. They have their superstars like Cam Atkinson. Oh, I almost didn't get, almost didn't be able. Wow, I'm not really talking very well. It's two o'clock at night, and I decided to spend my entire off day creating NHL players for NHL 20 because EA doesn't know how to uh, do their job. But it's the usual, the quietest 40 goal ca campaign in recent memory. Seriously, this guy in Columbus scored 40 goals. And two years prior, scored 35 goals. I mean, 86, I think I adjusted him a bit. Yeah, I gave him a better wrist shot accuracy, because I, I tend to notice that if you give a player better wrist shot accuracy, they score more goals. Oh, duh, oh, and you give a player better shooting stats, they're going to score more. I don't know, I just, if you give them more power, they don't score as much. I don't know. That's just me. Uh, but Cam... Cam is a really good player. I think he's one of the most underrated players in the NHL. Uh, and he's the biggest piece that stayed. I mean, he's in Columbus for another... Oh, for a long time. He's there till 2026. Which is awesome for me. But it's also something to think about. Because he'll be 36 by the end of that deal or close to it, or maybe even older. They don't really show birthdays in this game, so that sucks. But whatever. I don't really care. I just want to know their age. Uh, and thinking about the future, we have... PLD. No, I'm not going to ever say that again. Pierre-Luc Dubois. I don't want to give you a nickname, Dubois. But I always liked this pick. I know uh, back at this draft, everybody's like, oh... Why didn't Columbus pick Paul Yarvi? And everybody was expecting Paul Yarvi to go third overall in that draft. And I was kind of surprised by it too, but he's had a really decent NHL career. First season, 48 points in 82 games. That's really good. 61 points. Uh, he's definitely going to be this franchise's number one center for the time being uh and my plan would be to sign him to an extension really quickly uh and then as i was saying gustav the railgun uh stayed surprisingly i was unsure if he would stay with columbus but he did and i love to see it uh also 30 years old uh after the first few really good players on this team, it really dies down. Their depth isn't fantastic. They don't have a great pool to draw from. Uh, and that's my job. I'm going to fix that. I promise you, Columbus, a Stanley Cup. I promise. Uh, Josh Anderson. Uh, I can't remember if I dislike him or not. But in the NHL 20, he has a good rating. 25, not 25 overall, 25 years of age, 82 overall, third line scoring forward. I hope to keep him around, sign him to another deal. If he doesn't ask for like $40 billion a year, I'd love to keep him around. And the captain, Nick Felino, and this, he was a former first overall by the Sens? I did not know that. The more you know. Uh, he's 31 He's definitely uh, the heart and soul of this team. Uh, he's got he's under contract until 2022. Uh, so I don't know what my plan is with him if he starts to decrease in overall because of uh, locker morale. You know, I don't want to hold on to salary like that. I know he's a captain, but I would love to move him for something decent like a pick if I can get a first for him I'll do it in a heartbeat because the first year draft the 2020 draft is all oh, my numbers correct yeah Alexis Lafreniere goes first overall left winger 
out of the QMJHL. Uh, spoilers, he's a franchise player. I put him high franchise, I think, because he's... I know, whoa, 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 I know. I put him a little high, okay? But he's being compared to Sidney Crosby, and you don't take that lightly. You rarely see a player get compared to Sidney Crosby. I think the last guy to get compared to Crosby was Connor McDavid. Uh, he's been looked at since he was really young, so tank for... Alexis. I gotta come up with a good catchphrase for that. Uh, let's see. After Felino, uh, Wenberg, top six. Oh, uh, potential. 81 overall, 24 years of age. I don't know if he's gonna grow anymore. Uh, 25. Po yeah, he is not on a good path here in Columbus. I definitely see his morale dropping if we go into the toilet. Uh, but maybe a team. Wow, almost five million dollars. Woo, that is that is a contract and a half. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Oliver Bjorkstrand. Always thought this guy was going to do really well in the NHL. He's still young. Uh, Thirty-six point campaign, twenty-three goals. That's really good. He's still got a lot of time to improve. Uh, hope he does. Really hope he does. And then one of the best hockey names in the league, Boone freaking Jenner. What a name. 38 points, 77 games. Eh, he's a good, good third line player on this team. You know? And then uh, Brandon Dubinsky, 33 years of age, almost a $6 million contract for the next three years. Oh, I. Do not, do not like that very much. Two years. Sorry, I lied. Uh, I thought this was Rick Nash. Wouldn't that be... Oh, isn't that sad, Columbus? Not rest in peace, but I miss Rick Nash. Uh, he was awesome back in the day. <laughs> uh, Riley Nash, he's a good little piece there. Yeah, I could totally move him around. And this is the... I th Alexander... Texier? Oh, God. I'm butchering this name. Tex Texas. Texas! Alexander Texas. Uh, I'll figure out how to pronounce his name. I don't want to annoy a bunch of people, but I've heard a lot of rumblings that this guy... You know, Columbus is a small market. You don't hear a lot about their prospects, uh, but I've heard he's really good, and I've also heard he's a dark horse for the Calder Trophy this year, and if you're... If I'm the general manager and he's a young player and we don't have a lot of forwards to fill out the lineup, you got to think, do I want him in the AHL or do you want him in the NHL? Do you want him to get more ice time in the AHL with a better team? Or do you think he's above that level of play? Uh, we'll definitely see in the next episode. We're just going over rosters. We're just seeing what I'm working with. Okay, this is going to be a hard job. Marco Dano, former Winnipeg Jet. Uh, meh. I'd, I don't know a lot to say about that. Uh, a few bottom six forwards there. Not bottom six. Yeah, I said bottom six. I was right. Trust your instincts. And then in the system, Sony Milano. Wow, there's some great names here on Columbus. I love this city already. Uh... He'll probably be get thrown up into the NHL. Oh, I just hit my hand off my table. That hurt a lot. <laughs> uh, it's not... Oh, Nate, is that Nathan freaking Gerby? Holy moly. He's that old already? Wow. Time flies when you're the worst. <laughs> uh, oh, this guy. Emil Bemstrom. I hope I said that right. I am so sorry. Uh, I... I'm pretty sure this guy had a really strong uh, World Junior showing, if I'm misunderstood. Or was it, maybe it was the World's tour Tournament? I think he had a really good showing. And uh, he definitely, when I was in NHL 19, I boosted him up. He was uh, really good in that tournament. Good little Swede there. Uh, 68 overall, 20 years of age. Uh, he's definitely going to be good. I definitely see that happening. Uh, and then I think this was their, yeah, 2018 pick, 19 years of age, Liam Foudy, 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 Food Eater, 
67 overall. Uh, he's going to be great. I'm going to really like him. I mean, there's a few prospects in this system that are definitely going to be uh, at least NHL ready in the next two to three years. And I kind of think we have a three-year plan with this team. Uh, one year, if we're not competing, break it down, D-Generation X style, trade some guys out of Columbus, uh, get a few picks, revamp the prospects in this system. Uh, year two, get better, but continue to develop our young players' draft better. Year three, start to compete, and that window opens, you know? And we've definitely got a lot of, a few young guys at least, but no groundbreaking prospects in the system, you know? A few that are definitely going to be helpful. We have a lot of center, uh, a lot of center depth in the future. Bemstrom, Foudy, uh, Dubois, Texas, you know? It's, it's good. And speaking of centermen, uh, Kevin Stenland, 67 overall, 22 years of age. He isn't, pr he's probably going to be a career AHL guy or a trade chip. Nothing too much there. A guy I created. Kirill Marchenko. Uh, I was going through Tugi's video, Tugi24, if you don't know who that is. NHL franchise mode person. Well, I don't know his specific title. He does a bunch of that stuff. He puts out rosters. He's so good at it. I was following along. And you know what? If it's something that can benefit Columbus and he's... If he's actually there and he's actually... Uh, not a highly touted prospect, but he's definitely an interesting one in this franchise. I put him on there. 65 overall, high top 9. 19 years of age. He's definitely going to progress there in the AHL. He'll definitely get some fourth line time at least. And those are all the big forward prospects we have. Jumping back into the main roster, we're going to go to defense. And this is the best point on the team, bar none. Speaking of the bar, Seth Jones, if Columbus does well somehow, he'll be in the running for the Norris. He is really good. I pushed him to an 88 high top or high elite uh, because everybody seems to agree that he's he's the man and he is on what wicked deal, a wicked deal. Uh, so... I love having that kind of player on my team. Oh, almost broke something. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is this is a great way to start my franchise mode. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, he potentially, if Nick Foligno is moved, there's a captain potential player right there. And then we have Zach. Warinsky, who I'm really high on. I really like Zach Warinsky for some weird reason. He had 44 points. Set second best season of his career. Minus 12, though. Ooh, not great. Uh, but he just signed a three-year, $5 million deal. A great bridge deal, to be honest. Uh, really good. Uh, so we have him. I think we both we have both of them until the year oh yeah we have both have them for three more years so that is definitely going to be an interesting uh, undertaking when we get to that so hope we don't lose either of them because i think they could definitely be on this team for the entire franchise mode ryan murray uh he went second overall holy oh that was the nail yakupov draft <laughs> oh wow what a what a bad draft he's not a bad player per se uh, he's still got more time to grow, 83 overall, definitely a trade chip, potentially, if he's not up to snuff, so, but he's young, I like a young team working around that, but we definitely need the vets, uh, David Savard, definitely one of our older players on the team, 28, I mean, that's not that old, but, uh, He's definitely on a contract that I'd like to move. 82 overall. And we don't have a bad defensive core here in Columbus, so that could definitely win us a few games. Our forward core, not so much, really. After the first line, it's it's not great. <laughs> uh, what's 
Marcus Nuthavara. 81 overall, 25 years of age. He could definitely grow to an 83 overall. Steal in the seventh round. Scott Harrington, Kukin, not much there for the, our depth on the main roster. In the system, Gabriel Carlson. Uh, really like this kid. First round draft pick in 2015. He's getting to that age where he, it's where it's time to prove himself as an NHL player. He's got to get to that next step. 22 years of age, 76 overall. It's that year in the AHL where he, he, he has to jump to an 80 or a 79, somewhere around that range. Or he gets to 23, potential, all that sort of thing. His morale, his trade value all comes into effect. Uh, I definitely don't want to get to that point. If I can and if I have to, I totally move him. <laughs> uh, Adam Glendening, and then uh, not a lot in the system for defensemen, so I'd love to get a few more defensemen, because wink wink, nudge nudge, I've added a few defensemen to the game, such as uh, a Luke Hughes, and a few more players like that in the upcoming drafts, just to make things more interesting. I like the realism, it's great. Uh... But yeah, I'd love to have a few more players up there in the NHL because defense wins championships, especially if you have a coach who plays in that kind of system. And goalies. This is the weakest spot on the team. Jonas Corposalo uh, definitely didn't have a great season last year, but he's the starter now. Oh, wow, yet identical save percentage in both years. That's funny. Uh, yeah, he's the starter now. He's only a backup goalie. I, that is definitely going to lose us some games. Or Columbus goes on some crazy run, and we make it to the postseason when we win the Stanley Cup, and then the franchise mode is over. <laughs> that easy. <laughs> uh, backup goalie. Backup goalie? Sorry. <laughs> Where is goalie? The backup Govi, Elvis, what a name. Ooh, Merzinklin, and I said that right. 75 overall, definitely an AHL starter. Not an NHL backup in the slightest. In the system! Not much there uh, for our starting one. But a guy who's in the game now. Daniil Tarasov, 65 overall, third round draft pick by the Columbus Blue Jackets. Definitely our biggest uh, goalie prospect there. But it's always weird with goalies like that, you know? Uh, starting, I want him to get, a, get to the starting job in the AHL quickly. He'll be the backup. But it's always weird with medium starter potential. He could be great. He couldn't amount to anything, so I'm hoping he gets to 99 overall, but uh, that's hoping for a lot. Now, I've been in franchise mode before this year, but this is the first time I'm actually going into it and actually playing. I did a three-year sim with the Penguins just to see if there was no duplicates. Really hope I didn't miss anything or I'd be really upset and I would break my console. <laughs> uh... But this is probably getting close to the end of the episode. I just wanted to go over a few things. Uh, but here's a question. If you're Columbus, do you want to bring a name to the team like a Patrick Marlowe, uh, like a Vanek, Potvin, that sort of thing, just to uh, just to bring a little more uh, spice to the team if we're trying to uh, stay competitive, if we're going for a rebuild, we'll know by American Thanksgiving. Uh, I I literally haven't dealt with the co coaching staff yet, so that is going to be really interesting. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so excited to deal with that. Uh, Rose Hill. Ooh, like him. Staff chemistry, like that. He's a teacher. 
Uh, but we're going to be playing this together. If you have any suggestions, comment down below. If you have anything to say, I would love to hear it. I'm working this out. I've got a terrible setup. Uh, computer that's almost on fire right now. And a microphone that's not awful, but... That's what I'm dealing with right now, but I, I want to say I have been waiting so long to actually record something. I think it's going to be great for me just to get up and do this. I want to put out something every day. I would love to. Uh, I'm just hoping maybe it's a challenge for me to be more consistent. Uh, but that's for another episode, if we make it that far. Would love to do that. Uh, hoping to win a Stanley Cup here in Columbus. If you enjoyed, leave a like, share it with your friends. Uh, I want to get this series going. See you in the next episode, everybody. Bye!